In this video, we're going to continue on and work on our actual interaction function that will allow us to act, actually interact with our door here that is currently using the mannequin temporarily. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and open up our character that comes with the pre-built project, so door tutorial character.h and .cpp. Now inside of the header, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to go ahead, yeah, I'm, I'll leave the VR stuff. I'm going to go ahead and add a protected function. I'm going to call it void interact. I'm going to create the implementation and go ahead and just bind a new input to it. So I'm going to copy this jump interaction here, or the jump action that is currently inside of setup player input component. And I'm just going to simply paste it in, change jump to interact, and change the function that it calls to a door tutorial character interact. So that way whenever I call or use the interaction action or the interact action, it's gonna call my interact function. And inside of here is where we're gonna actually create and set up our line trace. So one thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we need a start and an end location. So we're gonna start out by kind of laying out the actual line trace itself. So line trace single or better yet, if world line trace single, we'll do by object. Let's see, do you want to do object type? Yeah, we'll do object type. Then we have several parameters. First one being the hit result. So this is where it's going to, the struct that it's going to actually write all the information to regarding the hit. So we're going to go ahead and create that. So f hit result, hit result and pass that in as the first parameter. Now we have the start and the end location, which I'm trying to get it to pop up, but go figure it doesn't want to. So we have the start, where the line trace is gonna start in the world, and where it's gonna end. So we want that to be kind of in our camera's view. So wherever we are looking, I kinda of want the line trace to go right through it. So we're gonna have our start, it's gonna be a F vector, because it's a position in the world, Let's call it start. So that's going to be our control or our camera's location. So we have our camera component. Let's see. We should, do we have a function to get it? Okay, so it's get follow camera. Returns. Okay, so it's called follow camera. So follow camera, get component location. And then we want to use our control rotation to find the endpoint. So we're pretty much going to be taking our starting location, getting the rotation we want to point, like use it with. We're going to combine those and then multiply that by a value that we want to get to, to kind of shoot out in that rotation. So if I am looking this way, my camera is going to be facing right here. My location is going to be right here, like where I'm literally at. And I want to send it out array straight across. So I could send that out like 500 centimeters the endpoint would be somewhere in here where I'm at right now because it's 500 centimeters in front of me. So remember, the units that, well, Unreal Engine works in metric and their Unreal units are in centimeters. We're going to have our F vector, I can even type, end, and that's going to be our start plus our, we're going to use our control rotation. We could also use the camera. I'm going to do get control rotation dot vector to convert it to a vector. Then go ahead and multiply that by the distance. I'm going to use 500. Okay, so now we have our start and our end. So we're going to pass those in. So we have start and end. And then we have the remaining parameters. So we have over this, the next one is going to be the collision object query params. So that's going to be F collision object query params query params, and here we can add a couple different settings. So we do a quick search through it. There's honestly nothing in here that concerns to us. So we can delete that and just create the default one like so. Then after that, we have the app collision query params. So app collision query, or wait, I didn't know it. Query per amps. 
three params, and same thing. Look through it. We look through some stuff, and here we actually do have things that we want to use. So for example, we have add ignore actor. We want to pass in ourselves. So because when we perform our line trace, we're gonna go straight through our own character right here, this third person guy, and we don't want it to pick it up. Like we want it to just ignore it entirely. So we're gonna do that and then just use query params as the remaining parameter. Now, this function also returns a Boolean. So the output is it returns true if any hit is found. So we can easily wrap this inside of an if statement. So if our line trace hits anything, stuff in here will run. Simple as that. So what we can do is we can print out our hit result. So what we're going to do is if hit result dot get actor, just to confirm that the actor is valid, we're going to print out a log. So you read log, log temp, warning, text, then actor hit. Percent s to print out a string. We're going to do hit result dot get actor and get name. And we have to dereference. So here we are, we have our function. So if we hit any actor, we should be able to print out the name of the actor that was hit. Let's go ahead and compile. I'm going to restart the editor. Actually, I didn't need to in this case because I'm only working with the .cpp. All right, so inside of Unreal Engine, let's see what happens. And currently, nothing because we haven't bound our interaction to a key. So if we go to our project settings, so settings, project settings, scroll down here to input, action mappings, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus sign to add a new one and call it interact and assign it to the key E, like so. Now the name of it has to be the same as that in our input component, or our setup input component. So interact, it's the same as interact. And just do a save and give it a try. So we walk up, we press E. We're hitting BP door 2. Press E on this guy. We're getting the cube, the ramp, the floor. I don't even know if that'll hit. The stairs, all that kind of stuff. So it's picking up the hits as intended. So we have everything we need here. We're actually getting the actor. So what I want to do is I'm going to store it. So if the actor actor equals get actor. I'm just going to use that instead. We know we are good to go. So what we're going to do next in the next video is check for the, um, what's it called? The interact interface. Use if interact interface found. So we have our actor, we know which actor was hit. We're gonna check and see if it contains, well, if that actor contains our interaction interface. If it does, then we call our use function that we're gonna have on that interface. And of course, I want to make noise whenever I'm trying to do something. Just like I've been bugging like four times in the process of this video. It's only been five minutes. So right, I'm just gonna pause it for a minute. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna replace our toggle door function with our use function eventually whenever we actually do the interface. So we're not gonna add that just yet. First I wanna do, well, first thing I wanna do, it's gonna be temporary. Temp call toggle door if it is the door that is hit. So that means in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and model up our door, create the armature, and the basic opening and closing animation for it. So that way we can test and make sure everything actually works. Then we can work on our interface and I'll show you the benefits of using an interface as well. And then we will work on making it multiplayer ready, which will be quite simple because of the way we're actually setting this up and laying it out. So that is going to be all for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description where I have a team deathmatch series dedicated just to my patrons only. And if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's linked down below as well, and I'll help you out the best I can. So, I'll see you in the next video.